In this video, we'll give a demo on how to use and how to configure the CERT algorithm in the Astrid toolbox. We'll do this by working out an example in which we'll first simulate some projection data of a ship Logan Phantom and then we'll use this projection data uh, to reconstruct with the CERT algorithm. So let me first create our phantom image. So we want to create, let's say, a 512 by 512 ship Logan phantom. And then the first thing to do is to define the geometry. So there are two types of geometries. We have the volume geometry, which we configure by typing astra underscore create underscore vol underscore geom. And then we have to specify how many pixels there are in the volume. So in this case, it's 512 by 512. And then the second type of geometry is the projection geometry, which we define by typing astra underscore create proy underscore geom. And in this case, we want it to be a parallel beam projection geometry. We want the width of each detector to be one. We want there to be 512 detectors in each um, direction. And then we want to have, let's say, um, 180 projections equ equiangularly spaced between 0 and 180 degrees. Subsequently, we have to define the projector object, and we do this by typing astra underscore create projector, projector, and in this case, let's say we want the linear or the Joseph's kernel. Here you can also write uh, line for the line kernel method and also strip for the strip kernel approach. And then we also link the projection geometry to the volume geometry in this projector object like this. And this function then returns an identifier to the projector, which we can then subsequently use. For example, in the next step, when we have to simulate our forward projection of our ship Logan phantom image. And we do this by the function astra underscore create underscore sino. And then we specify the data and then also the identifier to the projector that we just created. And this then returns an identifier to a data object that stores the sinogram. And then also, if you specify a second output parameter, it stores the sinogram itself. So if we now run this script, and if we then show the sinogram, we get indeed the projection data of our original ship Logan Phantom. Now, before we can reconstruct this sinogram, we first have to allocate some data in which we will store the reconstructed volume. And we do this by typing astra underscore mix underscore data 2D, create. We want this to be a volume object linked to our volume geometry, and we want to initialize it with zeros. And this then returns again an identifier to a data object which we'll call rec underscore id. Then the next step is to configure the search algorithm. So we'll do this by creating a configuration struct. So we'll type astra underscore struct. And then as an argument, we have to specify the name of the algorithm that we want to configure, so in our case it is cert. And then there are a few parameters that have to be set in this configuration struct, the first of which is to link the algorithm to our projection data, so we then type projection data id equals the identifier of our sinogram, and then also reconstruction data ID, which is the identifier of our allocated volume. And then also 
we have to specify the identifier of the projector object which we've defined here. And then with that done, we can now actually create the algorithm. So we type astra underscore mix underscore algorithm, create this configuration struct, and then this returns again an identifier to an algorithm object. Now with this done, we can start the iterative process, which we do by the function astra underscore mix underscore algorithm, iterate the identifier of the algorithm that we've just configured. And then let's say we want to do this for 50 iterations. Also, we will write tick tock around this function so we can time how long it takes. So then after this iterative process, we still have to retrieve the reconstructed volume data into the MATLAB memory. So we'll type astra underscore mix underscore data 2D, get the data that is stored in this object. And then finally, we still have to delete all astra objects. We can do this easily by typing astra clear, which deletes all objects that are linked to the astra toolbox in the memory. But you can also do this uh, object by object, which I'll demonstrate now. For example, you can say astra underscore mix underscore data 2D and then delete the sinogram object and also the reconstruction object. The same then goes for the algorithm. So delete the identifier of our cert algorithm. And then finally also for the projector So this is it. We can now run this script and it will then configure and start iterating our cert algorithm, which should take a few seconds. So there we are. We did it in 65 seconds. And if we then show the result, of our cert method. Indeed, it looks like a cert reconstruction after about 50 iterations. So this fairly simple reconstruction took us slightly over one minute, which is of course very slow. And the reason for this is that we are here using a cert implementation that is built on the CPU. Now the Astro Toolbox also provides a hardware accelerated cert implementation using the NVIDIA CUDA language. So let's see what we have to do to use this CUDA version. And effectively it is very, very easy. So instead of configuring a cert algorithm, you will be configuring a cert underscore CUDA algorithm. And then as far as the options go, just have to delete the projector ID because in the CUDA version of the toolbox, the projector is built in into the algorithm. So it cannot be specified um, by the user. Um, and this is then already sufficient. So if we now run it again, you see that it took us less than one second to do these 50 third iterations. And if we look at the result, we indeed see the same reconstruction appear.